Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making the Batage La Magnifique from the Elder Scrolls cookbook. Anybody familiar with the Elder Scrolls Skyrim knows that this is a big part of the Dark Brotherhood quest line. Everybody's out trying to figure out who the gourmet is and what the secret is to his signature dish, which is the Batage La Magnifique. And really, there's not that big of a secret. It's all, you know, vegetables and the vegetables that you choose to use. The book has a suggestion that you should find the right combination of vegetables that work for you and your family. The recipe calls for one cup of diced carrots. And my family and I are not the biggest fans of cooked carrots. So, what I'm opting to use is a half of a cup of a butternut squash as well as a half of a cup of white potato. I also have a half of a cup or a small white onion. I've got a half of a cup of white flour. One large garlic that I've gone ahead and minced. I also have a half of a stick of butter or a fourth of a cup. And I've got two cups of chicken broth as well as two cups of beef broth. And the first thing we're going to do is move over to the stove and start getting our butter melted down. Alright guys, as you can see, I've already gone ahead and melted our butter down. And I'm just going to go ahead and add in our onions, as well as our garlic. And I'm going to let this saute for about 3-5 to five minutes, or just until it starts turning fragrant. So guys, this is about where we want it, I think. It's starting to turn fragrant. I'm going to go ahead and add these in and get those coated with the butter. And I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but my t-shirt is from Bobby D. That's Me's YouTube channel. This is a new thing I kind of like to start here during my cooking segments is promoting other channels that... I really enjoy and that I spend a lot of time on their channels. And I'll tell you, Bobby V is a fantastic person. He is always so nice, so welcoming. And any day that I'm feeling a little bit down or just a little overwhelmed with work, I know that if he's streaming, I can go in and just relax and have a good time. You know, he always lifts my, lifts my spirits within, oh, I don't know, five minutes of me being there, if that. And he streams every day except Mondays. Pretty much random times right now, but I will definitely be leaving a link to his channel down in the description below. If you do happen to go over and check him out, make sure you either watch his video or join one of his streams. And then connect the right way, guys. Leave a comment after you've watched the stream pertaining to what he's doing. And then, and only then, leave a follow and ring his bell. And if you do that, guys, I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. He plays all different kinds of games. Right now, he's playing a lot of Monster Hunter with his friend Noob Shido, who also has an amazing channel. As well as, oh, let me see, he just finished up Titanfall 2. He finished up The Witcher 3 and has a lot of new games planned for the remainder of the year. So, yeah, go over and check him out and uh, help support him and help him grow. Alright guys, this is totally covered. So what I'm going to do is put my flour in and I just want to stir this until there are no lumps and it's absorbed some of the butter, or most of the butter here. Make sure we get all that down. This is what's going to help thicken up our, I think it's, it's like a soup. It's not described as a soup, but it feels like one and it looks like one when we're done with it. So that is what I'm going to call it. 
just let this cook a little bit there. Get some of that raw flour taste out. All right, guys, I think that is pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and add in my beef broth. And stir that in. And you, make, you want to make sure you stir this really well so that it doesn't clump up. Make sure you scrape the bottom of your pot to loosen up any bits that may have stuck. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in my chicken stock. And then I'm going to simply cover this and once I bring it up to a simmer, I'm simply going to cover this and let it simmer for about 15 minutes or until the potato and butternut squash are soft enough for us to puree. So I will see you guys when we have reached that point. Alright guys, at this point it's been boiling for a little over 15 minutes just until everything was softened and I'm going to go ahead and turn it off now. And then I'm going to use my immersion blender to puree this. You just want to be really careful when you're doing this. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can use a blender. Just do it in small batches until you get it all done. Alright guys, there we go. And the last thing we need to do is just season it with some salt and pepper. So let me get this taken out. Alright guys, so let's get some salt in here. Now season this to your taste. However much salt and pepper you like and again my family likes a lot of black pepper so I tend to have a heavy hand with that and we're just going to go ahead and stir this up and then taste it and see if we have our seasonings right and we'll taste it again just to make sure very good all right let's go ahead and get this plated up and I'll put the finishing touches on it and we'll uh, give it a final taste and see what we think about it. Alright guys, there we go. I've got it all plated up and the only thing I've done is added a little bit of uh, green onion to the top or you could add pumpkin seeds if you wanted to. And I also put a little dollop of Greek yogurt in it or you could use some uh, heavy cream to uh, drizzle onto the top of it. So let's get in here and give it a taste, see what we think about it. This is really good. I really enjoy the mix of the butternut squash with the potato. It gives it a little bit heartier taste than if I had used just the butternut squash. And the Greek yogurt gives it a little bit of a tang that's extremely pleasant. And the pepper, a little bit of kick. It's really good though, guys. No, no wonder everybody was looking for the gourmet to find his secret recipe. Alright guys, this has been the Potage La Magnifique from the Elder Scrolls Cookbook. I hope you guys give this one a try. If you like the video, leave me a comment down below. Remember to check out the Gamers and Geeks playlist as well as my Elder Scrolls cooking playlist. And I will leave links to in the description to them. And as always, thank you so very much for joining me today. I've been Vault Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I hope I see you in the next one. Thank you.